Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to install OpenCart, an online store management system on CentOS 7. Now before we go with the installation part of OpenCart on CentOS, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is OpenCart. OpenCart was originally developed in 1998 by Christopher G. Mann for Walnut Creek CD-ROM and the later the Free BSD Mall. The first public release was on the May 11, 1999, developed in Perl, the project saw little activity and progress stalled in 2000. And with Mahan posting a message on April 11 stating other commitments are keeping me from open cart development. The domain expired in February 2005 before being revived by Dalian Care, a UK based developer who used it as the basis for his own e-commerce website written in PHP. The first table release was 1.1.1 released onto Google Code on 10th February 2009. So OpenCart is basically an online store management system. It is PHP based using a MySQL database and HTML components. Support is provided for numerous languages and currencies and is freely available under GNU general public license. Now if you talk of the latest table release, it is basically released last month that is on March 2 on 2nd 2016 and the stable release version is 2.2.0.0. Now if you open the website that is called opencart.com you can straight away go to this website that is called docs.opencart.com. So in, over here the introduction is as follows. OpenCart is a free open source e-commerce platform for online merchants. OpenCart provides a professional and reliable foundation from which to build a successful online store. This foundation appeals to be a variety for users ranging from seasoned web developers looking to for a friendly user interface to use to shop developers just launching their business online for the first time. OpenCart has an extensive features giving you a stronghold over customization of your store. With OpenCart tools, you can help your online shop live up to the fullest level. So you can uh, browse over here and you can find various additional books, cookbooks and user guide and other module development based books which are available free of cost. So let us go to CentOS version 7 and let us start the installation of OpenCart on CentOS 7. So most of the uh, commands are basically the same as we have used in PrestaShop. So you will not find any problem. So I request you to please first of all see the PrestaShop and then come to OpenCart and not find any much problem on installing of OpenCart on CentOS 7. And you can find all the commands which I have written over here and all the commands are, are available below the video. So let's start with the first command that is yum install epel hyphen release so that we can update the repository onto our CentOS version 7. So it can take some time on the new CentOS. We have to wait. So let's again fire it. Sometimes it may happen. So now you can see that it is picking up. So sometimes some issue with the internet connection can be there, but uh, you just fire it again, so there will be no problem. Okay. So don't get worried about any error. Just re-run launch the command. Now you can see that everything is working fine, and it is download the packaging. Press Y again, and it is installing. So we are done. So let us first of all disable SE Linux firewall. So give this command set enforce zero so that we can disable SLNS firewall. Now we start with the part A that is installing of the Apache web server. So yum minus space Y install HTTPD. So which installs HTTPD server that is the Apache web server onto this machine. So there is no worry for this error. Sometimes some uh, internet problem or the high speed server is required. So you can see that it is about a 3 MB of download size and 10 MB will be installed. So 
so good so let us uh, enable this server that is system ctl start httpd let us enable the server system ctl enable httpd system let us see the status over here system ctl status httpd so now you can see that it is active and running so let us open the web browser and give this command local host so which means that it has been installed properly so let us minimize it we will come back to this later so after that what you have to do is to enable mod rewrite module in HTTP server so go to this file vi let me clear vi slash etc slash htpd slash conf slash htpd dot conf so search this allow override so under this directory press insert so from none to type all and come downstairs again you'll find this directory also so override none change it to all so space and space q so now what the second part is to install the MariaDB server yum install Maria db hyphen server space maria db so it will be downloading about 22 mb after that we have to start the maria db server and we have to configure the server So depending on your internet speed, it will not take much time. <coughs> so you can see that it has started installing. So good. So let us clear this. Now we have to enable the MariaDB server. So system CTL start MariaDB. So let us configure the server under this command mysql underscore secure underscore installation. So enter password for root. So as we have not set the password for root, so press enter. So press Y to set root password. Let me set the root password. So press Y for next other options. So thanks for using MariaDB, which means the server has been configured. So now the next step is to install PHP and other PHP dependencies. So here is the command. Let us copy paste. So it is the same command as we have used in PrestaShop also. So after this installation, we will go with the PHP my admin installation. So download size is about 9.4 MB. So again, it will take less than 30 seconds for my computer. good so it is updating and installing and after that it is cleaning up and verifying so let us install PHP my admin so yum space minus y install PHP my admin so about 7.2 MB of size and after that we have to restart the Apache server and then we will be opening up the PHP my admin control panel and then we come with the part D that is installation of open cart so if you follow steps everything will go fit and fine and there will be no problem in con installing and configuring so open cart is a very important software if you are a PHP web developer and you are designing some uh, good dynamic websites for your clients good so let us restart the server system CTL restart HTTPD dot service so now let us go to the web browser again and let us check the PHP my admin so local host local host slash PHP my admin so the web page is there so which means it has been configured properly so now the next step is to install open cart 
so let us make one directory that is mkdir open cart so almost the same steps which i'm following cd open cart so the cd has been uh, so the directory has been created you can see so let us follow the web browser and let us download the open cart software let us copy this whole of the commands will be available downstairs so no worry about the commands so let us wait for the web page to open the site is somewhat slow so click on download now and you can see download uh, download has started so if the download doesn't start click on this link yes so it is about 13.2 mb so click on save file and let us save the file so it will take some time depending on your internet connection so my connection is high so it will not take much time to install and download so till it downloads let us go to the download part so you can see that uh, downloading is happening So after the download has come so we will go with the sorry so we will go with the next part which which is about the unzipping of the folder and giving some permissions good so it has been downloaded let us minimize this and now let us go to the directory part so let us copy this file that is this file 2.2.0 compiled hyphen compile dot zip so it should be open card dot zip but uh, they have changed the name of the file so let us copy this file so copy 2.2 copy dot zip so slash root slash open cart so let us go to cd open cart ls so now the file has been copied so let us fire this command unzip 2.2 dot ivan 0.0, .0 compile dot zip so i'm using the latest version of open cart which was released last month so now what we have to do is to move this folder this folder to slash w uh, to slash root slash open cart slash open cart make it cop uh, renamed so slash root slash open cart slash open cart now you can see that the folder name has been changed to open cart so cd open cart and here are the commands so let us move so now let us uh, copy the directory of open cart to slash var to slash www so give this command So let us start with the command again. Sorry for the disturbance. So give this command. That is cp minus avr copy open cart to this copy. Let us paste it. So now let us go to this directory. cd slash var slash www slash html. So you can see the open cart is there. So let us fire the command chmod to change the permissions minus r 777 open cart chown apache colon apache open cart. And now let us change the directory to this location cd open cart slash upload and now what we have to do is to rename the config disk.php to config.php so let us fire this command it has been done and we have to rename this file also so copy and paste it 
so now we are ready to fire the installation so let us open the web browser and let us go to this location localhost slash open cart so you can see that it has started the directory so now what you have to do let me go with full screen go to this upload and now you can see that the installation has started so click on continue now what you have to see is to check the status of all this so everything should be green otherwise it should be a problem for you so you can see that there are two things which are unwritable that is where www opencart/config.php so what we have to do is to change the permissions so let us copy this and let us come to this terminal you can find all the commands over here okay so let us issue the command ch mod 777 to this file and let us go with the ch mod of this file also good so let us refresh the page now you can see that everything is green so let us click on continue so the next thing is to create the database so the database will be open cart and password of the root will be the password which we have set so before it is there let us go to the root and let us create the database so click on new and click over here open cart type over here open cart and click on create so open cart is created so now we are ready with the username for administration so let us continue so it is loading the modules and now you can see let us go to the online shop so installation is complete and we are ready to sell yes so voila so which means that open cart is there and we have started the main website so make it sure that you do follow steps and it is very easy and it is very dynamic uh, open cart uh, system to software to uh, make the websites regarding php so in this video i have demonstrated how to install open cart on zetos 7 do like this video do share with friends thank you so much for watching thank you